Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. The idea tonight is to showcase the impeccable Rolls-Royce quality uh, and tie it to the Gold Coast of Long Island, which was the home of the great Gatsby. It's just a, a good way to get together and the, and the event for the, for the colleges that they're, they're raising money for, and uh, it's just a great thing. It gets people together, the, the car uh, community, and uh, they, they like to do a lot of nice things for the community. Uh, I mean, that's what this is all about. It's people that, you know, we have these cars, we can afford these cars, um, and we can also uh, help the community and, and the kids uh, you know, to, to further their education. I mean, it just gives them a, try to give them an even playing field. To me, the 1920s is just an era where it was glitz and glamour, it was prohibition, it was, you know, uh, everybody was trying to have a great time but not letting everybody know about it. It was kind of the seductive era. And I think that um, the Gatsby cars, the Gatsby Edition Phantom and the drop heads, actually just everything about them screams elegance and it just fits that whole feeling that you get from the 1920s. The flapper, the pearls, the feathers, that's the style. We have three unique, one-of-a-kind cars um, from Rolls-Royce Motor Cars, which were made specifically for our dealership. They're the Gatsby Edition Phantom and two Phantom Drophead Coupes, which are the convertible version. Um, we wanted to originally have an event specifically for those vehicles, but actually it turns out that we sold two out of three of them in the planning process. So the event is more geared towards raising some money for the NYIT campus scholarships. We got some really great silent auction items donated as well as raffle items. Uh, we have a few casino tables that will hopefully drum up some business in the players. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. We're both college graduates and we had a struggle to get through college and here we are supporting it now. I spent 20 years or so selling carpets and floor coverings to Walmart. Uh, I built for Nassau County, so if anyone gets a ticket, they need to talk to me. And um, it was the, uh, I guess, a culmination of a lifelong love affair with cars and wanting to combine business with something that I genuinely enjoy. And when it works, I'm able to fulfill dreams for people. It feels good. It feels good in the end of the day. We both work. We work very hard. As a woman, it's just the, the legend and the luxury feel. I don't know what is different from the Maserati or Ferrari or Mercedes. When I sit in Rolls Royce, I feel like really 1920s. I don't know much about cars. I just, when they're, they're beautiful, they're beautiful. That's my, uh, my racing cap and goggles. Uh, I have a, uh, an older Ferrari. Uh, top comes down and uh, it's just, it just, it's old school. I'm an old school type of guy. I like uh, uh, the uh, old heritage race drivers and uh, I just like to keep it going, you know? Well, to me, it's a dream come true because I'm a kid from Brooklyn that grew up with nothing and here I am in a brand new Rolls Royce. It's inconceivable to me. It's, it's fantastic. You have to be at their factory to, for me to, for you to really understand. I could attempt and tell you that it's materials and construction standards that are not constrained in any way by money. When something is done or a, a particular material is utilized or implemented, it's done because it's the best material or it's the best way to install it. And if it happens to cost three or five times more, but it will wear for 50 years instead of three years, that's what you get. 